Hello, Sam from Tool Hut here today. Today we're going to go over Scope Basics, or Scope Essentials Part 1. This is voltage, explanation of voltage, explanation of time base, and basic triggers. Stand by. Okay, so what we're going to go over today is the basics of the Pico scope and the Hentex scope. These scopes are right here. So we're going to start with the Pico. We're probably going to do uh, similar things with the Hentex. If you have one or the other, I kind of suggest you watch the whole video. Uh, I might cover something a little better in one or the other, and it probably translate to the to the other one. So I'm going to start with the Pico. <coughs> Once we get it open up here, it'll tell me I'm not plugged into a device and I'm not. So I'm going to go ahead and choose yes. I want the demo. I'll get load up here. The demo is a little glitchy. I don't know if it's my computer or just the demo software. It doesn't really make any difference. So, the first thing I want to do is see this little button right here. This is our signal generator. Uh, seems to only work in demo mode. So, we're going to. I'm going to change. I only got four options here. So, I'm going to change it to our crank signals. I think this works a little better for us. So, so now we've got some activity on the screen here. So, this is our voltage setting. Every channel you can set voltage across uh, separately, so it doesn't really matter. But notice uh, when you start it up that channel A defaults to auto. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on where it says auto. And you'll see that the 5V has a little box around it. It's the only one that's got a box on it that kind of tells you that that's the one that it's working on right now. It will change if your voltage scale changes if you're in automatic, but for today's purposes, we're going to go, to, we're going to click on the five volt because I want you to see that five volt is per screen. So it's plus or minus five volts along the left hand side of the screen. So this is our voltage setting across the screen. Now, if we go to channel two, it'll put the voltage over here. So the sides are always voltage. And then across the bottom is always time base. So, the Pico does voltage per screen, like I just said, plus or minus zero. It does the time base in division. So this little from here to here is considered a division. So this is one division there. This is one division here. And so on and so on. There's 10 of them across the screen. So the idea of a trigger is to stabilize your screen. So I'm just going to shut these cursors off. I don't really need them for what we're doing. So we got trigger. So a lot of times to use trigger to be effective, you need another channel. Not always, but you'll see that what we're going to do is we're going to set a trigger based on voltage and time. And you can see we don't have a lot of anomalies that we can pick from uh, to, to make a trigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, okay, so injector current. Uh, that should work for our trigger. So we're just going to turn on channel 2. And it's going to set the auto. Again, I'm going to click on it. I'm not a big fan of auto. So it's 200 millivolts per division. So if we want, you see how the Injector current is into our crank sensor because it started at zero on the same line. So all I got to do now is I got to grab this side. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. So I just want it out of the the pattern. So we're going to set up. We're going to click down here where it says trigger. We're going to go to repeat. So there's some different si kinds of triggers. One is where the uh, where the scope decides what you want it to be triggered on. Again, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of auto in general. So repeat is it just going to 
stabilize your screen and it's going to continue capturing the pattern. <coughs> so the other thing it asks is what channel do you want to trigger on? So we want to trigger on channel B. These are the, this is some choices for some advanced triggers. So we're not going to get into that today. And then this, where the arrow goes up like this, that means it's the rising edge. That's this part of the pattern where the pattern rises off from zero. Or we can choose the falling edge, which is where it falls from zero. So this right here, here our diamond, this is our trigger. So we're just going to, let's just drag it right here. That's our falling edge. So let's put it on the rising edge and you could see, we could toggle it back and forth. It also tells us how many volts that we set a trigger for and the percentage of the of the screen. So I can move it back here further. I can move it up here further. So I can pretty much put the trigger anywhere I want. Again, it's just for stabilizing the screen for your viewing. It has nothing to do with capturing of data. So that is voltage, time, and basic trigger on the Pico. So let's do the same thing on the Handtech scope now. Let's just go ahead. We're going to close this right out of here. We're going to open up the Handtech. <coughs> and again, it's going to want to set double mode. We're going to go to the oscilloscope. This one opens all eight channels at once. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all eight channels. So we can click on, let me come back here. So that we're so CH right here. We can click on this and we just turn them off. Could have turned them all off and then channel one on, but I decided not to. So again, this is our voltage. So the Pico did it voltage per screen. The Handtech does it voltage per division. So let me see if I can get a trigger up here. You have to turn the toolbar on and this is our cursor here. So inside this box here, there's this is our zero line on this particular. Let me drag this down a little more, so we can drag the zeros wherever this is. So we're going to use this as our zero line. So this is one division, this is the second division. So that is one volt per division. So we got zero, one, two volts. Not quite two volts. Uh, again, it's in demo mode, so I'm not really concerned that concerned about it. So we've got 500 microseconds from here to here. So again, it's just voltage and time. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and play it here so it'll stay moving. Well, maybe it was, it was moving. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the trigger. So the trigger on the hand, the hand tech is right here under T. <coughs> so since we only have one channel on, it doesn't let you do a lot of stuff. So we've got trigger slope plus or minus. So that's rising edge. If we click on this, it'll go to minus. That's our falling edge. You saw it move behind us. So here's our trigger horizontally and here's our trigger vertically so it's on the the falling edge of channel one it's the information on your trigger right there so again it probably works better with the second channel so let's turn on another channel here I don't know what it's going to give us for the second channel looks like the same thing. So I wonder. So I have to pull this down here. 
probably the same. So let's set our trigger up here. Let's choose our trigger. Well, let us change. It must be because we're demo mode. Typically, it'll let you change that. <coughs> so this one's not as user friendly in demo mode. Doesn't make any difference. It's the same kind of setup. Uh, I know I turned on the the cursors. We're not going to use those. For what we're doing today but i was just trying to show you uh, what the divisions were so we got our voltage and our time base notice there's no numbers on the hand tag by default i think you can put them on there but we're not going to do it for what we're doing today and if we want to change our time base we can use the arrows to the right and left just like on the peak hole <coughs> So, basic trigger setup and voltage and time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to follow our scope training series. Uh, hit the bell if you want to be notified as they come out. There's no real schedule for them. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments, suggestions, criticisms, whatever you got. You can visit us our website, toolhutusa.com. You can follow us on Facebook. At Tool Hut USA. Have a great day.